Welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, we shall see examples using the combination of the product rule and the coefficient rule. Let us say we have an example of this nature. y is equal to 1 minus 2x times 3x plus 2, this whole thing divided by 5x minus 4 and we want to find the derivative of this function with respect to x dy by dx like that so in here we're going to use the combination of the product rule and the coefficient rule so as step number one we're going to uh, use the coefficient rule and then in, in the process we're going to use the product rule as well so in here the coefficient rule is telling us that we're going to take the denominator function and then times the uh, the, the derivative of the numerator function my, uh, minus the numerator function, the derivative of the denominator function, the whole thing divided by the denominator function raised to the power of 2. So let us write it out. 5x, 5x minus 4 d by dx of d by dx of the numerator function which is 1 minus 2x times 3x plus 2 like that minus the numerator function which is 1 minus 2x times 3x plus 2 d by dx of 5x minus 5x minus 4 like that the whole thing divided by 5x minus 4 this whole thing raised to the power of 2 now we're going to apply the product rule in the numerator part as step number 2 so we're going to write this as follows so we have 5x minus 4 and then now we're going to apply the apply the um, product rule in here so we're going to take the first function 1 minus 2x the derivative of the second function d by dx d by dx of 3x plus 2 like that plus 3x plus 2 d by dx of 1 minus 2x like that let me erase this line here and then write it a little, little lower so that way I get all the required um, Required uh, um, required items in here. So therefore, I'm going to close the parentheses here. Minus one minus two x times three x plus two d by dx d by dx of 5x is going to be equal to 5 d by dx of 4 is going to be equal to 0 so therefore this whole thing divided by 5x minus 4 the whole thing raised to the power of 2 so that is our expansion so now we can we can simplify this some more and the way to do that is as follows so in the numerator part we have 5x minus 4 1 minus 2x in the brackets let me write this again 1 minus 2x d by dx of 3x is going to be equal to 3 d by dx of 2 is going to be equal to 0 so therefore that is times 3 plus 3x plus 2 
d by dx of 1 is going to be equal to 0, d by dx of negative 2x is going to be equal to negative 2, like that, close parenthesis, then um, minus 5 times 1 minus 2x times 3x plus 2, that is what we have in the numerator part, this whole thing divided by 5x minus 4, this whole thing raised to the power of 2. So now we are ready to simplify this some more, and then the way to do that is as follows. So we have 5x minus 4 times 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times negative 2x is negative 6x, then in here 3x times negative 2 is negative 6x, negative 2 times 2 is negative 4, and then we have um, we want to expand this. This is going to be negative of 5 minus 10x, like that, times 3x plus 2. This whole thing divided by 5x minus 4, the whole thing raised to the power of 2. So we can simplify this some more, and this is going to be this is going to be 5x minus 4 times 3 minus 4 is minus 1. 6x plus negative 6x is negative 12x, like that, minus 5 times 3x is 15x, like that negative 5 times positive 2 is negative 10 then negative times negative is a positive 10x times 3x is plus 30x 10x times 2 is plus 20 10 at 30x to the power of 2 and then 20x like that this whole thing divided by 5 x minus 4, the whole thing raised to the power of 2. So we can simplify this some more, and the way to do that is as follows. 5x times 1 is negative 5x. 5x times negative 12x is negative 60x to the power of 2 and then negative 4 times negative 1 is a positive 4 negative 4 times negative 12 is positive 48x and then we have um, negative 15x plus 20x is going to be equal to plus 5x and then we have negative 10 here and then we have a positive 30x to the power of 2 this whole thing divided by 5x minus 4 this whole thing is raised to the power of 2 therefore we can simplify this some more as follows so we have a 60 negative 60x to the power of 2 plus 30x to the power of 2 so we can write this as negative 30x to the power of 2. We took care of the x coordinates. Then we have a um, we have a po positive 5x and a negative 5x. Those cancel out, leaving us with positive 48x. We got the x's out of the way. Then we have plus 4 plus uh, plus 4 minus 10 which is going to be equal to 
negative 6 and this whole thing is divided by 5x minus 4 this whole thing raised to the power of 2 so we found the derivative of a com combination of a product product and a quotient type of a problem which was 1 minus 2x times 3x plus 2 the whole divided by 5x minus 4 the derivative of that the derivative of that function dy by dx is equal to this negative 30 x to the power of 2 plus 48x minus 6 this whole thing divided by 5x minus 4 the whole thing raised to the power of 2 so this is our answer this is where we want to leave it this is our solution so in my next presentation we shall see more examples using the combination of product rule and the coefficient rule